today, we're doing a different video that I'm going to call Florida Man Friday. So a buddy and I were actually just talking about this. We were talking about unique YouTube video ideas um, and growth and stuff. And so this is my, my friend Zach's idea. I'm totally taking it. He doesn't have a YouTube channel. Um, so I figured I would steal this. And so today's Florida man uh, comes to you. The title is Florida man captures hog ties and stuffs three endangered key deer into his Hyundai Sonata. Okay. Yeah. He hog tied some endangered animals. Let's check this out. Oh, by the way, so I live in Florida, um, so I get to say this kind of stuff. This is this is what I get I get to do. Um, I get to make fun of other Florida people. Three deer, two doe, and a buck were allegedly caught <laughs> in a partridge in a pear tree, and hogtied with twine by Eric Damas Acosta, 18 years old, bro. You're wasting your life already. Of my of Miami Gardens and Tumani Anthony Young, 23, of Tamarack in Broward County, early July 2nd, on Big Pine Key. At around 1230 in the morning that morning, Monroe County Sheriff Office Deputy Austin Hopp pulled them over while they were in Damas Acosta's four-door Hyundai Sonata on Little Torch Key at mile marker 28 for not having a working license plate light. Okay, that's what got them. Number one, they got pulled over because he didn't have a $1.50 license plate light. That's illegal in Florida because cops want to be able to see, all right? So number one, it's 1230 at night. You don't really want to stay out after late, you know, after those hours. But this guy got busted, all right, for not having a $1.50 light on his car. You understand, that's what got him pulled over. Inside the car, uh, Deputy Hop found two deer <laughs> <laughs> Two deer in the back seat and one in the trunk. By the way, this guy has got deer in his car, not in the back of a truck, okay? He ain't driving around with some camouflage pickup truck. No, this guy's got his Hyundai Sonata. Says there's two in the back seat and one in the trunk. The buck that was euthanized Thursday was the deer in the trunk. Apparently, the, um, the deer uh, that was in the trunk actually had a broken leg. Um, and so Thursday morning, yesterday morning, they had to euthanize this thing. So uh, the two doe were released close to where the men were pulled over, along with the buck, which Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission Officer Robert Dubé, or Dube, Duby, said was slow moving. After watching the deer this week in the wild, Dubé, or Duby, Dube, said Thursday it was taken to Marathon Veterinary Hospital where an x-ray revealed it had a broken leg. The decision was made to euthanize it because of its slim odds of survival in the uh, in the wild. It was not going doing well or making any improvements. The carcass will be used as evidence in court. Dude, could you imagine them bringing this deer carcass out? Boom! You did this. You did this, Mr. Hyundai Sonata man. What's this guy's name again? Uh, Mr. Eric Damas and your buddy Tumani, Eric and Tumani. Hey, this put a huge deer carcass out there in court. Q deer on the endangered species list grow to about the size of a large dog and are found only in the Florida Keys, thus named Key Deer, and become stressed easily, especially if captured, according to Clark. The population of the deer range from six to 800, 600 to 800, um, and they're federally protected. Why were you going after some deer? They were both released from the jail Monday on $57,000 bond. The two have not been charged federally, but each faced the same 12 charges through the state. Three felony counts of wounding a protected species, three misdemeanor counts for taking deer out of, a se out of season, three misdemeanor counts of animal cruelty, and three misdemeanor F Florida wildlife crime charges, I'm guessing, FWC charges for illegal possession or taking of deer. We're still waiting to find out from the federal side if they will be charged. The state felonies are punishable by up to five years in jail and a fine of $5,000 per fine. So these guys took it upon themselves for no reason whatsoever to go off and to capture these three deer. Now you gotta think about it, these things are the size of dogs and they put them in the back of their car. Like what are you doing? What are you doing, Florida man? I mean, look at the picture of this guy's trunk. He's got like 
Looks like he's got in the bottom right over here. Looks like that might be some Sudafed or something like in a little package, whatever. Maybe he was gonna. Maybe the deer had to cough and he was trying to help him. But there's the the buck is in the trunk right there. Um, look at it's small. He's got a roll of toilet paper in the back of the trunk just in case. It uh, looks like he's got like a pillow or something. I don't know, but he's got. You know, looks like he's got an iPhone charger up in there and like jackets. His trunk's a mess, dude. Clean up your car for sure, for sure. Um, they had to pull out all the stuff out of his trunk right there. Uh, looks like this is the shot of the deer. He got his head all banged up and stuff like that. Little little Bambi up in there, man. It says um, he wanted to take pictures with the federally protected animals. The dude kidnapped these deers and is going to jail because he wanted to take selfies with it. it. Says Eric lured the key deer close with pieces of bread, grabbed them, bound their feet with ropes, and put them in his car. Damas Acosta, or Damas, whatever his name is, he told the cops that his friend, uh, Tumani, was asleep when the endangered animals were captured on the road and he had nothing to do so he's he's taken up for his buddy but seriously you were asleep the entire time that your buddy captured three deers put them in the back seat of his four-door car and one in the trunk and that didn't wake you up mm -mm, ain't gonna fly in court i'm just saying man because you wanted to take some pictures for your instagram you done messed up your life you're paying at least a five thousand dollar fine maybe spending five years in jail you were 18 years old you are not getting out for, what is that, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Yeah, you're not getting out until you're 23 years old, bro beans. Um, unless you get off for good behavior, you're gonna be up in jail, spending some good time with some boys that got in for some much, much tougher crimes. But lesson be learned, this guy is out after midnight doing some stupid stuff, and Brosif up in here is really busted because of that $1.50 fine. So guys, let me know. Fridays are different. Let me know if you guys like Florida Man Friday. Just something different I thought I would throw out there. Um, I feel bad for these guys. And uh, maybe, I mean, you can't go tough on them because it's a federally protected endangered species that you done kidnapped. Um, we are still going to be doing that um, 1,000 subscriber giveaway. And we're doing that beta key giveaway whenever the beta codes are actually sent from Activision. We'll be having some fun. So make sure you guys subscribe. And that if you haven't yet, turn on notifications and, and let me know in the comment below what do you guys think about Florida Man Fridays, throwing all the gameplay up in there with a little bit of news to keep you guys happy. And with all of that, of course, don't follow your dreams, follow my YouTube.